I'd well, now like to introduce Mike Gray. Hello, everybody. Uh, glad to be here today. I'm one of uh, the governor's volunteers today. <laughs> yes, I am. They've Happy to be here. We've all been, we're, we're all volunteers. Uh, I represent the governor's workforce board, and I, I'm really thrilled to be here because I think this gives us a great opportunity from a workforce development standpoint. In the past, I think we've tried to do things in vacuums, and it's not been, it, it can be much more successful when we work together. At the GWB, our job is to make sure that we are moving forward with the state's workforce system, that we're helping our citizens, all of our citizens, get the best jobs that they can get to support their lives, make them successful as they go through the rest of their life, and set them up for a rewarding experience and a rewarding career that shows growth throughout their lives. And really, through all of the different uh, places we find people when we're, when we're working with the Governor's Workforce Board and our workforce system, they come from everywhere. And one of the more challenging groups to work with are folks who have been through the justice system. You know, there are for, for so many reasons. So this is a great opportunity for us to sit at the table, for the, for the Governor's Workforce Board to sit at the table with law enforcement, with, uh, with education, with health, with criminal justice system, to find ways to put great opportunities in front of people, to move them on a great path, maybe a different path than maybe before, and get them into a place where they are working toward that rewarding job. We know that, that working brings a purpose. It can bring a lot of pride to people, and it can change people's lives. And we want to make sure that the jobs that are available to people and the experiences that are available, the training and development is high quality and can really help them in, in their lives, change the path of their lives, or put them on a very positive path to support the things that they want to do. Um, we also know that in solving these problems, there are many overall arching ones, and the judge just talked about so many of them, transportation, and access, and, and the communities that where, where we are, the resources that are available. There are a lot more out there that if we do, if we leverage them properly, we can make it work for this population of folks and, uh, and see some successes similar to what we've seen in other, in other places. Uh, the benefits of work really are far reaching. You know, we talked about you know, just the simple, uh, the, the simple act of keeping people out of certain um, uh, scenarios, but we also we can talk about how they feel about themselves, the pride that they feel inside when they know they're growing, when they know they're changing, and they know that there's opportunities available for them at that step in their lives, where it would be happening perhaps before there was nothing. And now we can, we can find a way to make something and to, and to move people forward. The governor is very focused on job training. We've had this conversation more than a few times. She wants everyone, everyone to have great opportunities. She wants everyone to be working towards some kind of uh, credential, uh, sort of post-secondary credential, something that makes us more qualified so that our entire state is, uh, is attractive to the best employers with the highest wages because our workforce is qualified and prepared for the future. And that's really what we're focused on. And we want to bring everyone along with us on, on that journey. And that's why we're thrilled to be here today. Every time we work, um, the governor first, for work, Governor's Workforce Board uh, works on these kind of things. We try to make sure that we listen to, we have a couple of mantras we talk about. We want, we want all voices, we want to hear all voices and we want everyone at the table. So for these reasons, we're thrilled to be part of this. I'm thrilled to be part of this. Uh, and I know that our executive director, Dora Crowley, who is here, who's on the journey with me, uh, and our GWB staff are, are also excited uh, to, to roll this into uh, a more serious part of what we do on a daily basis. So I really uh, thank you for the opportunity. We look forward to, uh, to moving forward and to uh, bringing some great solutions and recommendations to the government.